Hey guys, it's Justine and today I'm going to show off a card featuring the perfect pearls technique I showed the other day on a card but in relation to a Christmas card. I told you those Christmas cards wouldn't be over yet, I'm still using them. So I'm going to be using these two stamps here, the Merry Christmas and the Blowing Snowflake Tree. And if you go into the description and click, click on the link on my blog, actually the design team from So Suzy Stamps is doing a feature on the stamps. So you'll have a lot of inspiration and really th fun things that you can check out that coordinate with this tree. And I'm going to let you know that it's on sale again. It's finally back in stock, but it's not going to last long. So if you want one, click on the shopping link below and pick one up right away. So I'm going to be inking this up using some Versamark ink and I'm using my Misty on purpose just in case it doesn't stamp completely and fully. It is a big stamp, so there's a chance that I might mess up on the ink or not push hard enough on a certain area, and the Misty's just gonna ensure that I'm not gonna have any issues whatsoever. After that, I'm just going to simply put my Misty away, and then I'm going to be dusting over some Perfect Pearls powder on top of this card. Now I'm just going to be using white today. In the card I showed the other day, I mixed two colors together, which is really fun. But I just wanted a really quick, easy, and elegant Christmas card. And this is really good for any occasion. The powder sticks on the Versamark. And if you really want to ensure that it's going to set, all you do is mist some water in the air and then kind of slide your cardstock through the mist once or twice so that you don't saturate the paper and make your card warp, but it's going to set the powder. So as you can see, I'm just spreading it out over my card. The powder generally only sticks to the stamp. With this one here, it is a shimmer powder. So it does give the whole card an overall shimmer look, but the stamp is really the one that stands out. So I put the powder all over and you can see I'm going back and forth quickly with my Perfect Pearls brush here. You can use any sort of dry paint brush that has really like flexible bristles that aren't hard and just flick off that excess powder and then you're all finished. So you can see what kind of gorgeous shine that gives off and you'll see it in the light here how absolutely gorgeous that is. Very subtle but beautiful. It's not like silver embossing powder, it's more subtle and delicate than that. I'm simply just going to put my card together now and that's the end. So this is really perfect for making bulk cards, quick cards for Christmas and something clean and simple. So I'm going to attach my red panel here onto a white panel. I think the white helps the shine and the silvery embossing or the silvery perfect pearls stick out. I think if I didn't have that, I just had it on a red card base, it wouldn't be as effective. And then I'm just sticking the whole thing onto a red card base. And that is the end of today's card tutorial. So be sure to check out what the other design, what the design team members have created featuring the stamp and once again, it's going to sell out quickly, so if you want one, grab one while you can. I know a lot of people were looking for it after day two of my last series, which I'll link to in on the side there. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and have a wonderful day.